everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm doing your uh, third week of October read, start from the 15th through the 21st of October 2021. This reading is going to be for the sign of Libra. So let's see what is coming up for Libras for this week time. I will be adding Oracle cards in this reading, so stay tuned. And now, uh, while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you, it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So, Libras, let's dive into the read and let's find out what can you expect coming up for you for this week time. Let's begin. Three of Swords, there is something which is uh, definitely um, bothering you right now. Um, you are, uh, you are uh, unhappy around something. For some of you, you might be having some uh, health issues as well as you start of the week. Uh, but again, uh, it is not going to last long. So just just uh, take care of yourself and everything is going to be fine. Now, if it applies to other areas of your life, I feel like you know you are not going to be feeling uh, good about a situation that you are dealing with right now in your life. Um, you would feel as if... Uh, um, you would feel bad for... Uh, I feel like, you know, there is something which you are unaware of and you are creating stories uh, in your mind around it, which is going to make you feel as if you are being cheated on. There's no reality to that, but that's what you are perceiving out of a situation or extracting out of a behavior of your person. So it's more of that situation is what I'm picking up. There is something which you are creating in your mind and it has no reality to it, uh, which is going to make you feel bad and sad. Let's see more cards here. Seven of Cups, you are thinking, 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 and it's like uh, confusing yourself with all those thoughts that you are having. Um, it's, it's more like, you know, um, it's more like one thing that leads to another, one thought that leads to another. So it's going to be a big uh, chain of events that you're going to be having on your mind, which are making you feel even worse because you're going to link the th link the dots to the negative thoughts negative past that you might have had with your person so it's going to make you feel like okay fine you know they did that in the past as well so they might be doing the same now so this and that so i feel like you know that's even uh making the situation worse now so i feel like you know, it's going to be that kind of a week especially the beginning part of the week but this is momentarily whether it's a sickness whether it's a situation like this which is causing you to suffer it's momentarily. There is something that you are unaware of and that's exactly what is causing you to feel that way. So try not to indulge into overthinking or any negative thinking. Try avoiding that. Try avoiding talking ill about your love life, work life, home life situation to other people as well because that's more like affirming that what is not happening well in your life. Let's see more cards here. The Hermit. It's, it's not good. It's not good. You're spending a lot of time alone thinking, thinking, thinking and all the negative thoughts. Um, you know, when you're spending some time alone, make sure you use it. You're abusing that time alone. You are thinking negative. You are thinking, uh, overthinking and that too negative. So it's not going to get you anything. Um, it's just going to make you feel bad, sad. So it's very important for you to be with the right kind of people in your life rather than thinking, overthinking and that too negatively. Let's see more cards here. Um, King of Cups, Eight of Wands. Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. Huh. I feel like, you know, uh, hold on. I feel like, you know, there is uh, there is this situation that's going to happen for you for this week time, which is going to, because because you are overthinking and that too negative, you are going to create a whole big story for yourself in, in the reality, uh, you know, in, in, in your mind around the current reality that you're facing, where maybe your person is not talking to you, they are not, you know, giving you time and uh, you are assuming that uh, something is wrong in the connection between the two of you. In actuality, there is no reality in that. Maybe they are busy, maybe they are doing something else, which is more important right now, which needs their attention right now. It can be a family matter, work life matter, it can be anything. But you are not understanding that. So what you are doing is you are overthinking, you are overanalyzing, and you are 
creating a fuss over it and then what you're going to do is you're going to create a situation which is going to uh, make you put an end to the whole connection. It is more like a cycle that you always go into and then come out from with the same person. Same is happening here. Nothing is new. Nothing is new. The, you know, the Libra energies have always been the same. Like, you know, either it's coming from your side or it can be coming from your personal side as well. The on and off situation stays the same. Now, it's um, the only difference I see here is um, you or your person is going to think the only solution to this on and off situation is marriage, getting committed getting engaged or something like that so even if you have any uh misunderstanding or if there's some there there is something that happens for one person the other person would know what is happening with because the because the distance between the two of you or because you are living in a different house they are living in a different house you will have those misunderstandings you will have that lack of communication but just if you are living together you would know what's going on so i feel like you know, the only solution that you are going to think or figure out around the situation is going to be getting married to each other or start living in together or you know making it official so you don't have that curiosity what is happening why they are doing this and that so i do see an ending to that with a new idea that's going to come up in your mind or in the mind of your person where you are both going to agree to one thing that let's get married let's start living together because that's going to uh, build the foundation which is missing right now in this connection so i do see major shift happening for the two of you in this connection around it i feel like you know your connection had become on and off plus with every passing day this on and off energy has just spoiled the connection even further it has just ruined the connection basically and now um, since there is love since there is a uh, attachment since there is this uh, inner knowing or a feeling around this connection that this is meant to happen and you really have to figure things out you are going to take that you know ultimate step that is needed here in this connection let's see what the oracle guidance has to add a lot of passion is what you share with your person allow your heart and soul to sing with joy i feel like you know it's high time that you value the passion the love that you have for each other and stop you know um creating these you know trivial issues in this connection because of lack of communication because of lack of uh, giving time to each other you both love each other you both want this connection but at the same time this this burdensome energy or this negative energy that you always kind of you know conjure up around this connection is something needs to end and the only reason or the only thing that can put an end to it is having open communication living in together where you could be with each other um you know most of the time that's going to end this situation which is chaotic right now between the two of you so i feel like you know there will be some sort of a decision being made um around this connection and i feel like you know this this is going to put an end to the issue that you are having so finally an end to the issue that has been ongoing for uh going on for you for quite some time and uh in this connection so let's see what the other oracle has to add let new people in your life and explore so if you are somebody who overthinks a lot, it's high time that you start mingling with other people as well because that too is going to help you release the tension that you are taking around it. Prayers and affirmations is also going to bring you what you desire with your person. Uh, try to keep yourself busy so you don't overindulge into negative thinking. Um, family issues and pressure could be also one of the reasons why you are having these uh, you know, issues with, the, with your love life right now. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation is going to open doorways to fix the issues that you are having with your person right now let's see one last card let's see what else do we have growth seek out a mentor or a guide take baby steps as you grow be willing to learn from others so it's it's uh, it's going to be a good time for you to grow this connection into something beautiful that you always wanted to see for yourself so this is pretty much it coming up for you guys for this week time if it helped you do like share, and subscribe and uh till i do the next week for you guys take care bye bye